All right, guys, we are back on the Dragonfly Alpha looking at the new enhancement shaman changes. Previously, in my video where I was talking about the you know, just reviewing the enhancement shaman tree and the normal shaman tree, towards the end of the video, I actually went over some last minute changes that Blizzard put out there for enhancement shaman so if you want to see that it's literally right on the screen if you want to see it for yourself and kind of look into it more it's in the description check it out but right now we actually have it in game so this came out like a couple days ago yes i've been slacking just a little bit but i'm back i'm back on the grind so this is what the talent tree looked like before and this is what the talent trees look like now so you can see some stuff got shifted some you know, some talents kind of go into other talents now. It's a little bit interesting. So nothing too big, nothing too small. None of this is going to make Enhancement Shaman worse slash better slash meta. They're just kind of like minor changes that, you know what? I, you know, I fuck with it. I fuck with it a little bit. So the first one I want to talk about is Hot Hand. Yes, Hot Hand. Um, this one was kind of like a awkward position. It used to be like down, it used to be right here where Crashing Storms is, which yes, this is a new talent. Crash Lightning's damage increased by 40% and Chain Lightning now jumps to two extra targets. Maybe a PvE thing, but in PvP, Crash Lightning, although it's an amazing ability and it's a core ability, don't really use it for the damage itself, neither chain lightning. So maybe it's a PV thing, but PVP probably gonna be straight away from. But yeah, hot hand used to be down here. So now it's up here with the actual lava lash talents. Very, you know, great change. Unfortunately, it did get converted to a two point talent. So just means you're gonna have to spend another talent point to get the full effectiveness of hot hand. So a little bit unfortunate, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Ice strike. Small change, it actually now highlights Frost Shock. Highlights it like any other, you know, proc slash cooldown reset ability. You know, nothing too, nothing too insane. Storm Strike places Primal Strike, yada yada. This this is all kind of kind of whack. Doom Winds actually does a little bit of on-demand damage. Strike your strike your <laughs> strike your Tarjay. Um, yes, Tarjay. I love Tarjay. Every white girl loves Tarjay. Strike your Tarjay for 3,500 physical damage, increase your weapon chance. Yeah, we all know how Winfrey works. So, unfortunately, I don't know, but, you know, I haven't really tested any of this stuff on, like, actual players because I, I don't know if it's, like, the hours that I'm on, but I just see nobody. Nobody's doing. If somebody is on the alpha, they're just kind of questing, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, everybody's kind of done with alpha. They, they're all going to Wrath. It was cool for, like, two days, but now they're, you know, now they're bored. So unfortunate but i was hitting a target dummy and this hit for like 2500 so it's pretty weak sauce so hopefully this kind of gets looked into a little bit more um whether it's a damage aspect or they kind of add like a different remove the damage and add like a different effect but yeah 3500 not really too not not really looking too hot for the good old doom wins um what else we got here what else we got we have gathering storms got changed a little bit uh, the damage actually increased before it was like two percent i'm pretty sure um you start to get hit by your crash lightning increase like your storm strike by two percent really really weak now it's 15 percent so again it's a little bit it's a little bit beefier again storm strike you have so many storm strike modifiers uh, like yeah um just basically kind of going back to normal play style of just storm strike just being your main ability and your main source of damage so yeah whatever you know why not why not so it got changed very happy with that two percent is uh yeah definitely lower than 15 percent if my math is correct i am an asian so i should know this some other stuff got changed i actually don't know if elemental weapons was here before if it was my memory is very foggy um but i don't know if this was here before by the way five percent increased damage I, I fuck with it so we also have chain lightning here chain lightning is um Again, another thing where I'm 99% sure this wasn't implemented before, but it, got, it has a new effect. If Chain Lightning hits more than one target, each target hit by your Chain Lightning increases the damage of your next Crash Lightning by 20%. More so PvE thing, but hey, you know, it is nice to have. it. This used to be like a ranked, I think it was like a, that secondary effect was like a talent, I'm pretty sure, uh, but now it's actually baked into the ability. So, very nice, very nice. 
some other stuff here. We got, we got deeply rooted elements. Yes, you can now choose ascendance or deeply rooted elements. Again, haven't tested any of the stuff on actual players, unfortunately, but hitting a target dummy, deeply rooted elements is proccing a lot. So, so if it continues to proc this much, yeah, deeply rooted elements is probably going to be the go-to for me. Um, feral spirits, the cooldown of feral spirits got reduced from two minutes to one and a half minutes. At the cost of Elemental Spirits no longer reducing the cooldown by your Feral Spirits by 30 seconds. So now that cooldown reduction is just baked into the normal ability. So, interesting. It's an interesting change. It wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't really needed, but hey, you know what? It is. It is what it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of the stuff. Um, except for the fact that, you know, Thorm's Invocation, why is this not talented? Why am I not talented into this? Um, Thorm's Invocation, now, uh, what does this do? Uh, yeah, that's not what it does. Basically, it remembers if you use Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning. So if you, before how it worked, again, if you pop a sentence, you're wind striking, it'll automatically consume five Maelstrom Weapon to discharge a Lightning Bolt. So just, you know, fat, more shred damage. But now it recognizes what ability you use last, so either Chain Lightning or Lightning Bolt, and it'll remember that ability and constantly use that ability. Um, you know when you consume the five Maelstrom stacks, unless you change the ability and like you Lightning Bolt somewhere in the mix. But yeah, a little bit of it, kind of like a brain twister, a little bit. But <laughs> you could definitely kind of you know got me in a doozy. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is. The only main takeaway is that obviously hot hand got changed a little bit. Same thing with gathering storms, um, deeply rooted elements, and yeah, some stuff obviously got shifted. You know, storm flurry now goes into ascendance now, so you don't really have to go ice strike into you know this garbage to get your ascendance. Um, same thing with this. You can you know stormbringer now goes into elemental weapons, so some different paths but yeah nothing again it's not big changes this doesn't really affect enhancement shaman at all to be honest but you know what they're here so might as well kind of you know look at them but yeah that is all i got for you today if more enhancement shaman comes out obviously i'm going to cover it so yeah twitter instagram in the description and i'll see you guys in the next life see you later